हेलो एस्पेरेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल माई सेल्फ नीरज नचिकेता फैकल्टी ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट इन सुब्रंजन आई एस अकेडमी इन्वायरमेंट एज अ सब्जेक्ट इफ यू लुक एट इज अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट इट इज लिंक विद जोग्राफी इट लिंक विद कल्चर सोसाइटी इकोनॉमी करेंट डेवलपमेंट गवर्नमेंट प्रोग्राम्स पॉलिसीज एट द सेम टाइम द ग्लोबल परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट एंड नेशनल परस्पेक्टिव now for the prelims 2024 the upcoming exam environment questions if you are looking from all perspectives so you could expect around 15 to 20 questions in the coming exam and what all topics which you have to keep in mind is that one is that ecological concepts which is given in the ncert book so what you need to do here is that you must go through all those static portion that is means uh, you should be aware of the concepts and the terms related to ecology that for example let's say ecosystem biomes right then in terms of ecosystem functions like flow of energy food chain food web pyramid then nutrient cycle biogeochemical cycles those kind of all the concept you should be aware of it adaptation of species right then comes biological diversity biodiversity as a topic which is a very very important topic for the examination and every year in the prelims exam at least minimum there are 7 to 8 questions on biodiversity and it is a very very dynamic area static with current affairs and applied areas questions are asked third area is climate change global warming climate change again theory with application and current development at the global level and national level like for example cop 28 ue climate change summit what are the outcomes of the summit then from the theory part you have to be aware of unfccc united nations framework convention on climate change kyoto protocol paris agreement then carbon market all those concepts you should be clear then with latest development then india's ndc national determined contribution what are our programs to reduce carbon emissions you should be aware of it another very important topic comes uh, pollution you all know that pollution is a burning issue right in context of uh, global level you know the problems regarding ozone hole ozone depletion then in terms of uh, acid rain then again the water pollution land pollution air pollution indian context delhi smog by the same time you know river ganga river yamuna the wetland pollutions water bodies eutrophication not only that nowadays you know that bangalore lake is getting dried off that is one impact is the climate change another thing is the another impact which the lakes are facing that is a pollution then you know recent time new areas are emerging like for example light pollution right uh, nuclear pollution plastic plastic microplastic now we are coming up about nanoplastic not only the oceans getting affected because of the plastic pollution but also the garbage with plastics affecting land ecosystem not only this part but you have to be also aware of uh, other type of uh, contaminants and pollutants going to our environment like electronic waste biomedical waste solid waste and how do we manage such kind of waste that again becomes very very important for examination so we if we look at this all topics whether ecological concept biological diversity climate change pollution you will find questions from all such areas now let me bring about here biodiversity like threatened species of india recently snow leopard census the count has come then you know nilgiri tahar like nilgiri as a part of a biosphere reserve and the very important animal and ungulate that is a god variety mountainous god variety that becomes very important gharial critically endangered gharial then any other or whatever you come across in terms of critically endangered endangered vulnerable all those type of species you should be aware of not only that whatever the wildlife management projects we have like project tiger has completed 50 years you should be knowing about the project plus tiger reserves in india elephant conservation project elephant 1992 elephant reserves and in recent time you know the elephant conservation has got limelight right in terms of elephant reserves and all things have come into the news project cheeta reintroduction of african cheeta to india to kuno national park in madhya pradesh again those areas of cheeta because it has remained in news 
in terms of death of cheetah and conservation of cheetah any such wild animal which has the part of headline upsc can ask question on that plus protected areas network national parks sanctuary biosphere reserve then you know wetlands of international importance ramsar ramsar convention ramsar sites now you know that this year during wetland day world wetland day 2nd february the government has declared five new ramsar sites so now total number of ramsar sites in india is now 80 so about ramsar sites where they are located what type of uh, wetland they are what type of species are found in such wetlands which are now ramsar sites again from current affairs and even the older one upsc ask question on that even part of the conservation part another very important topic comes conventions protocols agreements like for example cbd convention on biological diversity cartagena protocol nagoya protocol plus uh, you know sites for controlling the illegal trade of samples of specimens of wildlife cms on migratory species on bond convention again these all conventions global initiatives and the way our law works like wildlife protection act 1972 recently there has been amendment to the act biodiversity act 2002 provisions of the law amendment to the law this you have to be going through that so it is very very uh, applied area right same way pollution water pollution act 1974 then air pollution act 1981 environment protection act 1986 the important provisions ngt act national green tribunal and their provisions plus whatever changes have been brought rules guidelines programs policies of ministry of environment forest and climate change you must be aware of that so what i'll bring here in a final way one is the static part that's a the theory part that you have gone through all those concepts thoroughly you have revised it again and again you are sure about all those kind of terms second current affairs right one year current affairs from the newspaper like the hindu indian express down to earth magazine right whatever the sources are there compilations are there to the current affairs you have done properly there going through all such topics of biological diversity climate change pollution all those areas which are applied areas you have covered thoroughly there third very important thing which i have just highlighted government programs policies initiatives for this purpose you can visit pib site press information bureau every year central ministry of environment forest and climate change comes out with a achievements of environment and all the programs of last one year that you need to cover it apart from that other pib updates with respect to environment you need to go through that so third very important thing comes where the government initiatives have taken place that you have to connect there so static part the theory syllabus second current aspect dynamic areas linked with government programs and policies if you are able to do all this you get a hold of the subject from various perspective now what is the last thing looking at previous year questions pyqs to get an idea at least last 5 6 years question papers to get an idea of the standard of questions or the nature of the questions and the topics where upsc continuously asking questions in prelims exam and the fifth one the most last part is that practice that you have to practice questions multiple choice questions as many questions on environment you have to do the practice there i would also like to bring another thing from the geographical perspective mapping becomes very important so please make sure that indian geography map mountains hills rivers right tribes vegetation forest climate connecting with national park sanctuary biosphere reserve tiger reserve elephant reserve ehz ramsar sites you have to connect with all those areas there at least two to three questions on the map is asked every year in the examination so given the fact this subject has become so important that uh, 15 to 20 questions which can really help you qualify prelims exam so you should go through all such areas which will help there now here at sris we are doing all such kind of topics in our normal classroom program in our foundation batch at the same time we are also having qp program also there 
So, this is our regular feature we do it in our classroom program there. So, this topic go through it, do it well, whatever assistance, support you need, you can always get back to us, you can contact us, we will be more than happy to help you out. So, I look forward to interact with all of you and we as a team wish you all the best for the coming prelims exam. Thank you.